What is this? Dude, this is literally a freaking. What in the heck is that supposed to be? Oh, oh my god. Uh, back to the library. Back to the library. What the heck is that? A mimic? Oh my god, dude. I thought I was gonna be fine. I'm not fine. I'm not okay. <laughs> Hello everybody, and welcome back to Mine Shafts and Monsters, Season 2, Episode 2. In the last episode, we pretty much just started off, got ourselves a sick little pad. I already hear animals, quite awesome. Um, I got a few goals for today, but since we're so early in the playthrough, I think it is imperative that we begin our day by exploring the wilderness. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I will say, the start of this game is very unforgiving, just as it was last time. Oh god. We're about to die through a pillager, which is right outside of our house. Quite an epic way to start the day, not gonna lie. I have a few goals for today, and I'm excited that you'll join me for them. Got ourselves a village. Um, as you guys remember, the last playthrough ended with us finally being able to trade with villagers, which is epic. I got us two things. Um, one of these is actually super important, believe it or not. It is a block of coal. What we need the block of coal for is to start the Dungeons mod quests. We are by no means ready to start doing this. We're not at all actually going to fight them or do the quests yet. But I'm going to put a block of coal down over here so that we can do the dungeon quests when we're actually ready. I'm just going to put the block of coal in here. I went and got us our blocks of emeralds. Found these in a dungeon the other day. Um, and that just means we're pretty much ready to start trading with these guys. Uh, let's just waste all of our emeralds on this. First trade. What a deal. Looking good. That's awesome. Yeah. Sick. That's all I wanted to do. My literal only goal was to establish, like, the beginning of trade routes. This will be kind of our village that we trade with. It's what I care about. It's what I'm ready to do. See, this is wheat. Should honestly probably start a farm. Not gonna lie. Let's go see. That looks like an interesting thing. Looks like there's another dungeon over here. There's a house here. Yeah, we're gonna go in this direction, my guy. Probably don't really even need all this crap. Ah, uh, yes, one of these towers. That basically will let us unlock Arv's Novio. Novio. We got ourselves a golem kit. Iron golems have always protected the villagers of the overworld. Their numbers are dwindling as a result of the arch Illager war. Check out this sick old tower. This tickle tower over here. I'm sure there's something quite useful up in it. These are all the Apotheosis Towers, and honestly, they've got some pretty decent stuff in them generally. You just have to be careful for the frickin' TNT trap at the top. Definitely recommend these as one of the first places you go look. Dang, another one of these sick Apotheosis Towers. There's quite a few of these, not gonna lie. Maybe I'll keep this spot in mind for mine colonies when we get to that point. Look at that, pants! Diamond leggings of- Diamond leggings of latent magic. This item's enchantability is increased by seven. God, it's so beautiful up here. Such an interesting area. Full of lore, full of life. This honestly looks like where I built my frickin' mine colony in the last playthrough. <laughs> oh god, it's one of these bad boys. Stay away, stay away, plant! Don't attack me. Bro, you telling me there's a kraken around here? Viral dungeons that go into the ground. What I've found is that these dungeons don't actually spawn correctly anymore. What the hell's an ender scent? What is that thing? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. Just go ahead and guess that the ender scent was not supposed to be, like, fought yet. We back, my guy. We back. And what that means is we're putting our stuff away. I can feel it in my bow. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do we have in here that we just don't need? Um, we're gonna need another chest plate, so I'm gonna actually get rid of this. Just put on this golden one for now. Just because we're exploring and we probably don't need anything too fancy. Don't need anything too fancy. Witches will not attack me while I'm up here. Well, they probably will, but I will not give them the chance. The witch dropped something, the Ars Ecclesia. Okay, which is a little stronger than I thought. Which is a wee bit stronger than I thought. How am I still alive? Okay, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. We got ourselves the Ars Ecclesia. And this is for the Eidolon mod. And honestly, the Eidolon mod is pretty dope. I'm gonna get us set up with it when we get back. But 
One of the things we really need to do is give this book to a witch so that she can give us some dark symbol. I actually don't know if we freaking unlocked Eidolon though, because I thought we had to kill the Toad Sentinel. Okay, I know for a fact that there are evokers up there. I can hear them bad boys. We're going to do this the kind of coward's way and we're just going to build up. I know there's generally a parkour section we can do, but... Oh god, 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 oh god. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Bruh, pixies, get away from me. Oh my god, this bad- Ah! <laughs> oh, I was so close. I shall beat my shade to death with my bare hands. Woohoo! <laughs> he hath died. It would be quite nice if I were able to do this. Bruh, Nom Nom, leave me alone. That's pretty funny, because there's like a regional gas station called Nom Nom, and they're literally taking over everywhere. Oh boy. Bruh, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Ah, he's got too much help. Okay, uh, we shall beat the evokers someday. I'm up this way because why not? Ah, uh, yes, Cersei. You see her right there? She is pure evil. So we're gonna just be cowards and snipe her. Yes! <laughs> Ars Noviu and the Dark Dagger. Sick, sick, sick. I'm gonna actually check our quests because we got something new, baby. Ars Noviu. I've never played with Ars Noviu, but I'm very excited. Unlock the Ars Noviu progression through slaying Cersei. That's good. I'm absolutely gonna be taking all this crap, though. Like, holy crap, uh, the Torment Quiver. That is what I wanted to accomplish here. These floating dungeons are really easy if you understand the layout. My suggestion for tackling them, pillar your way all the way up to the top and go top down. Hey, look at that, we leveled up our mining. Castle workers don't actually attack you, but everything else does. The most dangerous floor you need to worry about is the one right below this with a ton of evokers. Yeah, literally, we're just gonna ignore this. The Worn Notebook, document for Ars Novi. Oh, so this is sick. So it's just a book and a source gem. Well, fun fact, we have both of those things. I'm going to put on this frost chest plate instead of the gold. Because that looks freaking sick. Oh my god, dude. Kidding? That's the coolest thing ever. I guess we can just play in third person too, which is kind of funny. We're gonna grab ourselves a source gem, grab ourselves a book. We're gonna check out Ars Noviu. This is gonna be a new experience for the both of us because I have never seen this mod before. Check this bad boy out. Oh my God. Yo, so this is a lot of stuff. Ars Noviu provides spells, crafting, magical devices, powerful trinkets, and magical entity automation to help developmental report issues join the community. Getting started, resources, tier one spells, tier two spells, tier three spells, source, machines, automation, familiars. Oh Oh my gosh. Getting started. So there's a lot of stuff in this. We're going to become epic wizards, my guy. An introduction to Ars Noviu. It is recommended to follow each section in order. To begin spell casting, you will need your first obtain a spellbook. A spellbook will allow you to create, store, and cast spells using mana. A higher tier spellbook will provide additional spell slots, allowing you to craft more complex spells. To craft your first spell, you must first select the form that the spell will take on. A form glyph must always be the first glyph in a spell recipe. Add any number of effects to the chain. Effects refer to what the spell will do, and they will resolve the order that they are placing in the book at the target or location the spell hints. An augment can be used to modify the way an effect or form behaves. The Volcanic Source Link. Volcanic Source Link generates source by consuming burnable items. Archwood logs will generate bonus mana, with blazing archwood generating the most. As the Volcanic Source Link provides source, it also produces heat used for spawning lava lilies and converting stone into lava. The volcanic source link automatically outputs two nearby jars, starting with the one closest to it. Guys out, uh, if we take glass and an arcane stone, we get ourselves a source jar. Now the next thing I want to make is a agronomic, agronomic source link. Um, it looks like this has wheat, gold ingot, and source gems. Agronomic source link, go ahead and move the items here. Take the agronomic source link, and then I also want the volcanic source link. Thank goodness we found ourselves some gold. Got our agronomic source link. I'm gonna make myself a farm real quick. Literally just something simple. Something real simple, my guy. Ours Noviu is cool because it's literally like a spell design mod. So we'll be able to actually like configure these spells to do pretty much whatever we want. Oh my god, dude, that elephant just charged the pillager. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, that guy's fighting the elephant. Somehow surviving. Bruh, yo, stop shooting me, my dude. Yeah, look at that. So basically, whenever something grows here, this is gonna fill up. You can see it's actually filling up a little bit, I think. I'm gonna let that do its thing. Um, we've also got this- oh my god, bro. What the heck is shooting me now? Whoa, my god, dude. 
source berry bushes, and archwood sapling. Archwood's weird, I remember that. I thought we had a few. Oh my god, bro, why are there so many freaking enemies here? Take that, bruh. Flourishing archwood logs. Okay. Yeah, so this is archwood sapling. What is that? What is that? Oh my god, bro. Wild thing, wild thing. Didn't know what that was. I don't know what you are. Okay, so check this out. I'm gonna plant some archwood trees here. Yo, oh no, oh no. Oh my god! A little bit harder when you can't run away, huh, bud? Bud. Hey, it's actually getting full. Okay, yeah, sick. So I'm gonna go get more coal, actually. Right here, magic clay. Uh, so we've got source gem, clay, and redstone dust. Uh, got a lot of clay. We're gonna do magic clay right here. It looked like we need a diamond to make amplify. So I'm gonna make take a diamond, and I think sunflowers seem to be just becoming more and more popular in my area now. I'm gonna guess they're spreading, which I think is funny. I'll put it right next to it, and then we're gonna do this. We got magic clay and diamond, which is our catalyst. We're gonna put the magic clay down, we're gonna put the diamond on it. Look at that, <laughs> dude! Check that out. It's making ourselves an amplify scroll. Unlocked Amplify. Um, so let's see what we can actually use on this. So now, if we press this, we can actually equip Amplify. Amplify, Amplify, and it's actually going to do a lot more damage now. But, um, we don't have to stop there. We can get this out. Uh, we've got Ignite, we can light things on fire, we can summon a horse. Flint and Steel. Um, yeah, we got a Flint and Steel right here, baby. It's not going to because it's used. Okay, it did. Check that out. It's going to make ourselves a flame. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna do quick craft. I'm actually going to put amplify and ignite. We are running low on pretty much all storage space. So this should do a lot. Oh my freaking goodness. Yeah, holy cry. Yay, 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 yay. What just happened? My guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought we were about to die. I thought we were desperately about to die. Oh my goodness. Jesus criminy. Oh my god! How? How? Yeah, run, 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 run. Oh my god. The archer tower? Uh, don't mess with those. Lesson learned, my guy. Did we at least get anything interesting? What in the god's name was over there? That's a huge castle, my dude. This is a very gorgeous biome. Like, holy cow, dude. I love the colors. I seriously love autumn colors. Um, always have. It's always been something that's interesting to me. Get away from me! Get away from me! Don't talk to me or my son ever again. I'm on the prairie. Oh my god, dude. This is a little house that happens to be on the prairie. But um, tsh. maybe something interesting is over here. Seen about all we can get in here. What is that? Is this a piglin house? A piglin dungeon? Oh my god. Uh, maybe let's not die here. The houses are sweet though. Holy criminy, my guy. Yeah, no harm done, my dude. No harm done. Don't you even worry, my guy. Don't you even worry. Uh, this is a sick little mushroom area. A glow shroom bio. Bayou. Sitting in the bayou. I had a backpack. Yes! Dual wielding, bro. Dual freaking wielding. Okay, I'm going home. I'm getting my backpack. We're coming back. Does the boomerang work? I'm gonna throw it. One, two, three, go. Does not work. Blue Journal, an adventurer's guide. The gatekeeper. Interesting. He seems like not a normal NPC, to be honest. Okay, Blue Skies Population, an adventurous guide to the gatekeeper. This journal is written to assist newcomers in their journeys across the Everbright and Everdawn worlds. If something has unique functionality, chances are I've written about it in this book. You might find new journal entries as you progress, so remember to check back periodically. I've marked each section with a bookmark on the side of the book. Everbright, Everbright Portal, 
The entrance to the Everbright Dimension, the portal, is made of turquoise stone bricks and can be lit with a zeal lighter. It seems the Everbright is constantly day, but it's somehow always brittle and cold. The world is home to lots of large, thick-coated fauna, plenty of snow, and spirit-like enemies that can be found here. During the snow, more enemies like to show their faces, as they much prefer the colder weather. Bruh, dude, that's sick. Everdon. Everdon portal. The entry to the Everdon dimension created with lunar stone bricks and lit with the zeal lighter. This world is always hot and humid, but the time is always at sunrise. Insects thrive here, especially during the rain when more of them leave their homes. The insects have grown to scary sizes, some being about half my size. The rain seems less heavy here, usually only being a slight drizzle. The fauna here seems to be mostly reptilian with a few exceptions. Okay, so that's sick. Uh, this guy basically is a gatekeeper for two new dimensions, which we are 100% checking out. I don't think we're quite ready for this, but we're going to keep this in mind. Um, I'm going to put a waypoint here. Gatekeeper. Going through the redwood forest, trying to find me some stuff to do. To feast up and go explore this castle. This was like the one we took on last time. Um, no risk of rain mods, but lots of iron and stuff, which is not that I'm going to be pickier anything, but I'd like, I'd like stuff that's just slightly better. What mod doing? I don't even need the music, mate. Bro, okay, so the throne room is somewhere, and that's where all the good loot is. Love it or leave it, you bet I can't wait. Emeralds. I there'd be lots of emeralds. Emeralds. Lots of stuff. Ah, lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli. Oh yeah, I got trinkets this time. Click to add, we got this. Life stealing. Rarity elite. Um, I don't remember getting that, but I'm not going to complain. Life stealing is always, always freaking OP. Uh, I'll take the cooked mutton. Not sure about eating something that was literally in a bowl with suspicious looking stew, but... Aha, I have sieged your castle. Surrender now or it will be over quick. Ah, the throne room. This is actually what I was looking for. Um, I remember there being a chest back here. Yep. Ooh, a diamond sword. And then up here there was also some stuff. Um, let's go to the mall. What is that thing? Look at that airship. That thing's gorgeous. Another one of these cool apotheosis towers. Um, probably gonna edit myself out. Probably gonna edit out going through this just because they're very repetitive, but they've got super good stuff in them, so it's like, it makes absolutely no sense not to go through them all. Makes no sense not to go through them all. Uh, yes, a diamond pickaxe. Finally, my guy, finally we need that so bad. Again. I have full diamonds. Full diamonds, my guy. Full diamonds. Ain't that right, innit? That right, innit? Ain't it right? Okay, uh, check this out. Going back home. Okay, check this out, my bros. Brosephians. Um, we're gonna build ourselves a freaking enchanting area. Because we've got a lot of books. To be honest, we've got quite a few. Okay, I should go get some grub, actually, not gonna lie. We've got an inch power of seven, you can tell that because it's apotheosis, my guy. This is a concerning biome. Dude, this biome is nuts, my guy. What in the hell? I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure how I feel about them. What are these guys, like the wasteland frickin' raccoons? No man's land? What does that even mean? I'm now in a conflict zone? What? What is a conflict zone? Bro, oh god. Oh my god, dude. Bad, bad, bad. I've officially gone the wrong direction. This is not good. I am dying. I am dying. I am dying. Require health. I require nourish. Calling the business not good. Very far away from home. Diamond shovel of great lengths of latent magic of lights. This item's intangibility is increased by 19. Titan forged. I'm 90% sure that's literally just means that it's mythical. Diamond Shovel of Great Lengths of Latent Magic Criminy. That's a long name. That is a long freaking name. Dinosaur hanging out with some horses. Seems about right. Uh, I climbed one of these sick towers and I found some cool stuff. Um, turns out there's a waypoint on them. And then there's also another paraglider and an ender pearl. Ender pearl's super useful. Do this. I know you're all wondering what it looks like to paraglide off one of these. Um, so I'm going to do it. This guy has a pretty mean, ooh, that's cool. This guy's got a durability though, um, and it's gonna run out, so I'm gonna switch to this and pull it back on out, and we're gonna go straight here. Look at this thing, just right here. Bathroom, whoa, dude. Uh, is this a hotel? What the heck? 
Feywind Lexicon, War Notebook, or the Ars Ecclesia. Hello, stranger. Welcome to the Feywild, the wonderful land of Fey and magic. Oh my gosh, I'm not living here. This is a sick little Feywild area. What in the world? Is this the restricted access to the library? What in the heck is this? This whole place is wild, my guy. This is the coolest library ever, dude. I'm gonna go read the lecterns in all these places and see what they actually say. Bra 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 bra. It's got literally an explanation for all of the mods. So this is how to tame your dragon. Well, it'll be for combat farming or transportation. They're probably a dragon for it, but beware, taming a dragon isn't an easy feat. Blood magic? Braha. Blood magic is in this. Oh my god, I love that mod. Uh, blood magic is an arcane art that is practiced by mages who attempt to gather a vast amount of power through utilizing a forbidden material, blood. Blood magic is often linked to vampirism, but is dark art on its own. Blood magic grants huge amount of power, but every action performed with volatile magic can prove deadly if used wrongly. You have been warned. Magicians are widely known as powerful magic wielders of magic. In truth, however, to be truly powerful, they need to rely on summoned spirit slaves known as demons who perform magic on their behalf. Jonathan Strouds? If you haven't read the book, the books, do that now and come back to me when you are done. With the help of occult rituals, you'll be able to summon spirits from the other place. These summonable spirits will allow you to mine in void dimensions, create powerful enchanted tools and jewelry, and get support from familiars and much more. Grab the dictionary of the spirits if you want to understand their power. Oh god, dude, this is terrifying. Occultism, blood magic, theurgy, they all have their strengths and weaknesses. However, if you're truly seeking power, if you want phenomenal cosmic power without the itty bitty living space, then look no further than your daily ritual starts. Simply get up, brush your teeth, eat your breakfast, sacrifice a couple of villagers, and pray to the old ones. The true dark gods are even difficult to please, even more than the silk. Alright everybody, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. Oh god, oh god. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not! Oh my god! Oh freakity hell. Oh my god, what in tarnation is going on? Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! What is this? Dude, this is literally a freaking. What in the- God damn, what is that? What in the heck is that supposed to be? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, back to the library, back to the library. What the heck is that, a mimic? Oh my god, dude. I thought I was gonna be fine. I'm not fine. I'm not okay. I want to thank everybody for watching. This was a really successful episode. I wanted to get another episode of Mine Shafts and Monsters Season 2 out just because it's a new pack to me. I'm stoked to play it because it's probably my favorite mod pack out there. If you liked the video, got a little bit of entertainment out of it, feel free to drop a like and let me know what you liked. I'm excited to continue this series and I will see you all in the next episode.